Welcome to another edition of Ask V. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the importance of color calibration for our monitors. Now, a buddy of mine sent me an email and he said, Hey V, I noticed that the images on my screen look different than what comes out of my printer. Why? It's simple. Your monitors aren't calibrated. Now, here's what's happening. Your monitor is reading certain color values and it's displaying that information to you. Now, if they're not calibrated, what's happening is you're getting erroneous information. So what you think is red, in reality, isn't red. If your monitor shows too dark or too bright, you're making color corrections based on assumptions that the monitor is giving you. So our good friends over at Hunt's Photo, along with my buddy Ray, and friends over at the Mac Group, sent us a really incredible device. It's called the Color Monkey Display. What this is gonna do, it's gonna take the, the, the ambient light, it's gonna measure it, and then we're gonna put it onto our monitor. And what it's gonna do from there, it's gonna help us by showing us what the values of what red, blue, and green, and the rest of the colors are. So we're gonna start by firing up the program, and we're gonna click on Profile My Display. The primary display is my laptop, and if you notice, we also have the Cintiq connected. We're gonna calibrate our primary display. Click Next. Let's go on to Easy. And from here, we're gonna measure the ambient room light. So I put the Color Monkey down, and it took the, the average light reading. Great, and we click on Next. And the next step, and it's giving us step-by-step -step instructions to where we just rotate the color monkey like so, and then we're gonna place it on our computer screen. From here, we have a counterweight in the back. And once we have it set, we're gonna click next. And we're gonna let it do, do its thing. Now it's gonna go through all the different colors and it's gonna take its time. And it's telling us it's gonna approximately take five minutes. So we're gonna fast forward to the video to the very end. So we'll see the difference before and after on what this calibration does. back into the program, it gives us a chance to name our display. What I want to do is I want to name it with today's date. So 2013, the month, and then the date. Save. And now what Color Monkey is doing is it's creating a profile based on the values that it received. You have a choice to remind yourself to reprofile this every week, every month, or whatever you'd rather do. In this case, I usually leave that unchecked because at the end of the month, I get to decide whether or not I want to recalibrate my monitor. Click Next. Now, we're at our before and after screen. So here's before, here's after. One more time, before, after. Now, if you looked very closely at the wedding dress, the before image, it was a little blown out. The after actually gives more detail. Now, under the images, we could change that. Uh, let's look at black and white siblings. Again, before, after. It's that slight degree or that slight change that's gonna make a huge difference. Now, you have the option of checking whether or not you want to leave the color monkey uh, plugged into your computer and have it check every five minutes the ambient light around you. Usually I'm at home and the colors, the lighting system never changes, so I usually leave that unchecked. Once I click finish, it saves all my changes and now my monitor is calibrated. Now, one extra benefit behind doing the color monkey is I just calibrated my monitor. So when I send this off to a printer, or if I send it off to somebody else to have them do my printing for me, 
What they're gonna see is what I see on my monitor if I include the color profile with it. Usually companies like MPIC or Miller Labs or uh, Bay Photos, they do their own color correction. So when you send the image off to them, and if you include the color profile with it, they look at it and say, great, this is what we see this is what the customer gave us. And usually before they do any of the printing, they send you off sample copies so you could see exactly what they have compared to what you're having on your screen. 99% of the time using any of those labs, I'm extremely happy with the way the colors are once I calibrate my monitor. That was a quick 10 minutes to calibrate our monitor. And from here, we're able to see the perfect color, brightness and darkness of our images. Now our buddies over at Hunt's Photo are going to supply a link at the end of this video to give you further discounts on the Color Monkey. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave the comments below and we'll do our best to try to answer them. Until next time, I'm Benelli. We'll see you soon.